So uh, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Jordan, and uh, the issue that I'm working to address is the high rate of heat-related uh, deaths and injuries in uh, the construction industry in Qatar, as well as uh, several other Gulf states. So you may have heard uh, news headlines uh, talking about the number of migrant workers that have died uh, building uh, facilities such as those going to be used in the uh, 2022 World Cup. And uh, driving much of this is the region's high temperatures, which uh, can reach above 50 Celsius in the summer uh, months. And these high temperatures put lots of stress on workers' bodies, uh, and particularly their heart, and can lead to complications such as heart failure. Uh, so heat stress is a serious and uh, largely unaddressed issue. So this situation is complicated by the fact that uh, the construction industry, or the construction labor force is composed primarily of migrant workers, uh, whom the government is not particularly willing to protect. And, uh, and, uh, and construction firms are largely willing to regard as expendable. So the question is, how do we protect workers in the absence of a willing government and a disinterested industry. So our, our answer to this question is to present firms with an innovative approach that makes reform uh, that we want to see. So in this case, reducing heat-related deaths, the least costly option. So to do this, we've partnered with a Dutch company to uh, produce and design a vest that uses evaporative cooling to reduce the impact of heat on a worker's body. The vest incorporates features of a traditional safety vest um, and meeting a number of international standards, which allows it to be used in the place of uh, traditional high visibility vests that you frequently see uh, on construction sites today. So the vest contains an absorbent gel uh, inside of a breathable membrane, and when this is soaked in water, it allows for the gradual evaporation of water over the course of about six hours. And uh, this water, as it evaporates, uh, bring or takes with it excess heat from the worker's body, um, allowing a worker to stay cool and lowering the worker's core body temperature and reducing the impact of heat on, on that worker. Um, so we completed preliminary testing of these vests in Doha, or near Doha rather, this summer. Um, on a trial of 50 workers over the course of eight weeks, we uh, conducted this test in, with the cooperation of a large construction firm there and with funding from the University of Toronto. Um, and this preliminary testing was positive. It um, noted a decrease in core body temperature as well as blood pressure. Um, so now that we're confident with these results, we're moving forwards with uh, making these vests more widely available to uh, construction companies. We're currently in talks with two companies to provide part of their workforce with vests and have uh, concluded a deal with one other company. Mm, so in trying to reach migrant workers, we are immediately struck with uh, one large problem. There are 1.4 million migrant workers in uh, Qatar alone, and distributing vests to all of them would uh, require a massive investment that donors would be unlikely to be willing to finance. So in order to reach them, uh, we make the case to construction firms themselves that investing in this technology uh, is in their best interests. So um, there are costs to heat-related deaths and illnesses, whether these are uh, reflected as direct monetary costs or indirect costs, such as uh, damaged reputation or decreased worker productivity or other costs uh, like that. Uh, but under the current system, these costs aren't sufficient to justify uh, paying the costs to take the steps to protect workers from uh, heat. So, Cooling vests lower these costs involved in protecting workers from heat stress, and consequently they make it possible, or they make it so that it is in a company's best interest to uh, protect their workers from heat. And so what we do is we provide these vests to companies at close to the marginal cost, um, and then what we charge over top of the marginal cost, so what we take in profit, we uh, invest to uh, provide dem demonstrations of the vest to other companies and other initiatives that helps us to get this, get the message out that this is an important technology that construction firms should be investing in. Um, so this kind of approach allows us to reach the broadest audience while also uh, retaining enough cash to pursue other projects uh, to expand our reach. Um, so eventually, okay, oh, also I should mention that um, the, the marginal cost is about 24 US dollars per vest, um, plus the freight charge or the freight costs from the manufacturing facility in China. And eventually our goal is to see evaporative cooling vests uh, 
be as widely used in countries where they would be uh, beneficial as hard hats and uh, safety vests are today. So thank you for listening, and I would be happy to answer any questions they may have.